He told me his name was Valiant Thor. He grabbed my hand. His hand was skin soft as a lady's or a baby's skin, but it was a grip of a man. And we spent 30 minutes, mostly me asking questions and he giving answers. And he claimed that he was from the inside of the planet that our Bible calls the morning and the evening star, the planet Venus. He said, yes. All, all of this time, Mr. Thor was at the Pentagon for three years, mind you. And he was going and coming at will. He was brought to the President of the United States, Dwight Eisenhower and Richard Nixon, offered to give them information on how the American people could successfully live without sickness, without poverty, without disease, and without death. They told him, we're sorry that we cannot accept the information that you're freely giving us because it will ruin the economy of this nation. Well, sir, a Commander Thor left on the morning of March 16, 1960, on the outskirts of Alexandria, Virginia, where his a spaceship came down. He went into the spaceship and disappeared from sight.